Hello, my name is Emily Traister, and I am here today with Dan Dalton, one of the founding partners of Dalton and Tomich. Dan has helped a number of churches lead the United Methodist denomination and keep their property. How are you today, Dan? Great, Emily. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. So Dan, what should a local Methodist church do while they wait on the decision if a general conference will be held in 2022? There are a couple things that local churches should do during this time, and, and I understand it's a very frustrating time and there's a lot of anxiety to it, um, but there's just a few things you should do regardless of whether you're going to stay or you're going to leave or you don't really know what you want to do. The very first thing is, is that you should have a basic understanding of what you own and how you're governed. Over time, uh, things get created, uh, articles of incorporation and bylaws, and constitutions and things like that. And they're generally forgotten by the local church. So do some digging and get those historical documents and figure out how you're governed. And, and you may not be governed, but just try to figure that out. The second thing is, is figure out what is it that you're own, what you own. Uh, by that, I mean is, is look at your property deeds and find your deeds. Um, find your uh, investment uh, vehicles, your endowments, your trust, your accounts. Just kind of gather all the documents together just to figure out what is it that you own and how you're governed. The second thing you need to do is, is you really need to talk to your leadership team about where they see the church five years from now. And by that I mean is, is from a theological perspective, are they going to be in the same place? Will they become more conservative? Will they become more liberal? Will they stay where they're at? Um, it really is a very important thing to figure out where you're going to be theological from a theological perspective. Then the next thing is, is talk to your pastor to figure out your pastor and your, your leadership are on the same page. And a lot of times we find that clergy is not on the same page as laity. Uh, so you want to figure out, can we grow with this pastor moving forward? And then the final thing is, is, is talk to your congregation and figure out where they want to be. Are they all on board with where you are theologically? Or do they want to be part of the post United Methodist Church? Or do they want to become independent? Or do they want to join another denomination? All of these things are critical things that you should be thinking about right now uh, in, in having those discussions and getting those documents together before you take any steps whatsoever. So take the time now to figure those, uh, those situations out. After a denomination, uh, or after the announcement comes about the general conference, then there are additional steps that you should take based on where you land. For example, if you want to leave uh, the denomination and join another, denom uh, another Methodist denomination, there are certain steps that you need to take, and, and you really need to talk to professionals about how best to do that to preserve your property and protect your ministry moving forward. The same is true if you want to become an independent church as well take those steps and, and, and think through those matters with professionals. If you just want to stay in the post United Methodist Church, there's even other steps you can take as well. Again, the whole idea is, is how do you best preserve your property and protect your ministry uh, moving forward? Those are, the, those are the questions that you need to answer and the steps that you need to take now that you're waiting uh, for an answer on whether there's going to be a general conference in 2022. As always, thank you for your insight, Dan. If you are a church that is looking to leave the United Methodist denomination and are interested in hiring Dan to help you through the process, please reach out to our office at 313-859-6000 or email us today. Thank you.